Hello, welcome to my next tutorial. This time I'm going to talk about sampling keyboards. Um, sampling is not only for recording from like sampling beats and using sample vocals or whatever. Today we're going to talk about um, sampling a keyboard or a keyboard sound, so making the hardware soft so that we can use the sounds in a software sampler or maybe export them as samples to a workstation like the Kronos or another sampler so that we don't need the keyboard on stage and can and still can play the sounds. So today we're gonna sample one sound from the Cork Micro Cork. There are some programs that you can use to sample keyboards. Um, there is an auto sampler in Apple's main stage. Um, it's already included, so that's quite easy. But um, then you can just use, use the sounds and uh, logic or main stage maybe i want to export them to contact or i want to export them to my keyboards uh, maybe i don't have a mac maybe i work with a pc um, so the program i use is called sample robot by skylife it's available for mac and for windows and it provides a lot of export possibilities so you can export to a lot of standard samplers, to workstations like Kronos, to an Emo sampler. You can export for Contact or export for the EXS sampler. Quite a lot of possibilities. This program is uh, really useful and I've been using it like for 10 or 15 years. I think I started with the first version on my PC in the studio where I exported the files to my laptop, which I used live. All right. First, we have to connect the microcork, the audio, the audio out from the microcork to the audio in of my sound card. So I got this RME Fireface UC sound card and I choose the inputs three and four for this instrument. Then I have to connect the microcork, the MIDI, in with my computer. So I use this USB to MIDI cable, or you can even use the MIDI input or output of your sound card if your sound card has one. So I connect the MIDI to my computer and the MIDI to MIDI in of my keyboard. We just have to start sample robot and there is a project wizard that helps you to make all the setup like audio inputs, MIDI output, whatever, if you want to sample one keyboard or a sound of that keyboard. So I start that project wizard. Okay, so um, you got some possibilities uh, to record a keyboard. So it's what we can do with this keyboard because it has MIDI, um, the automatic recording. So the signals are sent from sample rubber to the keyboard and the audio signals are going back to the recording. Uh, we can even um, semi-automatic recording if your keyboard has no MIDI in and um, the program is not able to send notes to it, then you can do that one and press the keys on your own. Or you can even record plugins, software plugins, um, and export them to your workstation or wherever. So today we need this automatic recording. We call it YouTube Sampling 1. This is the path for the data. That's all right. So the audio in device is my Fireface UC and the left channel is channel 3 and the right channel is channel 4. The sample, sample format is like standard and the MIDI out device where the computer sends the MIDI signals to the keyboard which keys are to record. 
is my Polytech MIDI cable that I just connected. So the MIDI channel is one on which the signals for this keyboard are centered and the MIDI program on this keyboard, I just checked that before, is number 75. That's the sound I want to sample. This keyboard has 37 keys and we just need one velocity layer because this sound has no velocity at all. It's on or off, but you can even record like pianos that really sound different in the low velocity and then in the high velocity. And you can layer the velocity sounds as much as you like and um, as different as you like with this program. So we just need one that's easy and fast. And the key step is six, so every sixth key will be recorded. The note length we want to record is two and a half seconds. Uh, we need no release for this sound. The sound is like that. And if the note is off, there is no sound left. Maybe there is a longer release sound going down or whatever, then you can record this release time as well if needed. This program provides an auto loop function. So if you just record two and a half seconds and uh, on stage we need a longer note, then we need uh, the sample to be auto looped. Um, so it'll continue playing after two and a half seconds. And for this other loop, we uh, define um, a simple kind of sound, an intermediate kind of sound or a complex sound. This time we choose the intermediate sound, even if it's simple, doesn't matter. And we can define where the loop, the outer loop later on will start after 30, 50 or 70% of the sound. Maybe uh, we got a long intro of the sound and then in the end of the sound there, there's a kind of um, sound that we want to loop if it's going on. All right, so that's it. Now we can record. On the right side you can check your settings as well. So the Fireface input 3 and 4, the audio format, the MIDI out is my USB to MIDI cable, channel 1, program 75, program change as well. So we, do, we don't have to care to set the right sound and um, the attack velocity will be as high as possible, 127. All right, it looks good. Now we start recording and the program does it all by itself. Okay, done. So now I save this project with all the samples in it. And now if I press one of the keys down there, it'll play the sound of the microcork samples. And you hear the loop working. If you don't like that, you can change the loop. Let's choose the right sample. So it's the third sample we got there. Um, it's that key. So maybe we change the loop out over there and we make the crossfade a little bigger. So it's a little better. You can do it if you want to change the outer loop. Um, you have to choose every single sample and adjust the outer loop for that. But if it's once done, then your sample will really work very well. Um, so this is a quite simple sound. On a complex sound, you maybe have to really adjust the loop points, the loop in and loop out and uh, how long the crossfade for this outer loop will be so that you don't hear the loop later on if you play it longer. All right. So in the next tutorials, I will show you how to export um, those samples to um, Mainstage EXS sampler, to Native Instruments Contact 
and to the Kronos workstation so that we can use it without any computer as well. Okay, so see you next time for the next sampling tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.